let's just see what happens. Hopefully that's enough time for her to run across. I don't know how fast she runs. That's the problem. I don't know how fast she runs. Oh, here she goes. Oh no, that one died. Oh no. Oh no. She's gone. Well, I took out a couple of zombies with me at least. But I didn't I did not I did not get the girl to the I did not save the girl. What is up, my pylons? It's me, Gamer, Gamer Pile, and I am here with a brand new series. I don't know if this is going to be a full series this is, or this, or if this is going to be, easy for me to say, a one-off, but this is Bridge Constructor The Walking Dead. Uh, this is such a great IP. I, you know, I haven't watched much of the show, but I've been a fan of the graphic novel series for quite some time now, having been an early adopter myself. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, I enjoyed it in the TPBs. It stands for trade paperbacks. So those of you who don't know in the, uh, the lingo. And so the show, you know, it kept me for a while, but it, it grew to be so different from the books and the story that I'd fallen in love with that I would watch an episode here and there, but I wasn't very heavily invested. However, I like things that make me think. And to my knowledge, a bridge constructor game is going to be something like that. Little little puzzle game. We'll see what we can get out of it and enjoy it. I've got my drink in my hand, my handy dandy notebook, but most importantly, I've got my handy dandy you. So thank you for handy dandy being here today. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, get started here. Looks like there's there may be five chapters, 499 skulls, zero wooden wires. I don't know what they mean. I really don't. Oh, 67. I have to get 67 here, I guess, before I can go on to the second level. I've never played it before. I've never even seen it before. The world came to an end, and we didn't even realize it. How could you not when there are zombies everywhere? <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, do I have to click? Or is it auto? Oh, I gotta click. Okay. Oh, or did People I just got miss sick. Okay, no, we're good. And died. I don't know what that is under the bed, but it's probably cr lootable. I do have to click the thing. Then oh, it was started coming hand. back. <gasps> bum, bum, bum. Spoiler alert, you are the zombies. Pundits on cable news said it was all a hoax. A month later, they were dead too. Not bad voice Some acting. Some refused to accept what was happening. Insisted it was just fear-mongering. I forget. I forget. I have to keep clicking. And the first cities fell. Then the rest fell apart. Fast. I want to thank you for being here today, by the way, my handy dandy pylons. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the handy dandy like and subscribe buttons down below. Leave a message in the chat area thing. I like to get to know you. And don't forget, you can get some sweet, sweet merch for your upcoming Mother's Day or Father's Day if you uh, check out the link in my description. The Gamer Earth Pile logos. Quiet. For the win. Humanity was now an endangered species. And endangering. Ooh, we gotta this wait a second. Those this is few the few of us who survived were terrified and lost. Seed. Scavenging the remains of a world that had all but disappeared overnight. I'm sure okay, so real talk for just a moment. Just a moment. I've read a number of post apocalyptic novels. It tends to actually be my favorite genre. So any anything from the zany you know Battlefield Earth and uh, the Postman, all the way up until like the real gritty stuff, like The Road. I've read it. I've not all read all of it, but I've read quite a bit of it. And uh, real talk for a second. Curious. Let me know in the comments. Your psyche. Would you be able to handle it? Would you be able to keep going every day, even knowing that society was probably lost forever? Would you? Do you have that survival drive, or would there be those days when you're just like? Why? Why bother? Why bother? I'm stopping now. I'm just curious. I'd like to think the former, but I really don't know. And that's, you know, maybe part of it depends on if my family's still around. I really couldn't say. Oh, okay. Chapter 1-1, Deadland, Under the Bridge. Under the bridge downtown is where I drew some zombie blood. All right, lead the walkers over the bridge. Why am I under the bridge? Best result, zero. Okay, I really have no idea what I'm doing. I don't know the mechanics of the game. I don't know if it's a side thing or a 3D thing or if it's a first-person thing, three, third-person thing. 
Okay, it was just another day in the end times. No TV, no internet, no warm water, no clean sheets, and no food. Get ready for Gamer Pile to fail miserably. I can kind of see the silhouettes of what appear to be some sort of zombie. There's some green area over here that's probably the build I have to... The bridge I have to build. And I'm under the bridge. Oh, I get it. Kyra, let's not bother with that street again. Nothing left to scavenge. Just dead meat walking. Miles, we might still be able to find some meds in Doc Boyle's old office. What, and exactly what kind of medication are you hoping to get from a proctologist's office, old man? Uh, he's getting older. He might need some of that medication. Pardon me for interrupting, but this prostate banter. But I currently find myself in a perilous situation and in need of some assistance. That's what Eugene sounds like in my mind. Uh, for a second, the shadows made it look like he was a, a straight-up neckbeard, but... He's, uh, he's got a blazer on or something. The good, the good old English. It might be the last days, but we're going to look good going out on it. Whoa, hold it, fella. What the heck are you thinking sneaking up on us like this? Eugene's a name, but before we commence a lengthy tete-a-tete, -tete, I have to cut to the chase. The living dead are on my heels, and I strongly urge you to ready your firearms. I'm afraid we're fresh out of guns. Ain't no shame in hiding, though. Okay. Get in that ditch. I'll build us a shelter. And keep quiet, mullethead. You've caused enough trouble as it is. Mullethead? Oh, I feel bad. I mean, he probably doesn't have a British accent if he's got a mullet. Roger that. I shall provide a helping hand, all the while keeping as quiet as a church mouse on Sunday. Okay. Uh, badge requirements. Less than or equal to 500. This has got to be just like resources. I guess it's badges. I have no idea. Lead the walkers over the bridge. 11 gives me an A rating, maybe. What do I do? You'll need to build a bridge to get the approaching walkers over the ditch. Okay, so I need to build a bridge from here to there. Letter A must be where they have to go. Before you start, remove the existing wood elements. Right click, left click two times on a component or joint to remove it. Press uh, click, left click on an orange construct point to start building. Relia rele the button and move the cursor to the desired end location. Press it again to place the new component. Right click cancels the current build operation. So I can build to there and like that. That must be so that, okay. On a component, right click, left click on an opponent you have built to convert it from a scaffold to a roadway and vice versa. Oh, okay, so it was a scaffold before, and now that it's light tan, uh, it's it appears that now it's a a roadway. All right. Okay, so it looks like we've provided enough. I do kind of wonder what would happen if we'd let it fall. Looks like everybody is good. We got them away. Those things are dumb as they are dead. I'm Kyra, by the way. I'm Miles, and you, son, would be a pretty practical companion without that runaway mouth of yours. My appreciation for the Laudatio. Wow, this guy's fancy. My capabilities are more inclined toward the theoretical, but from time to time they do prove useful. Mission completed. Alright, I got 400 of them. 418 of them. Badge requirements less than or equal to 500 is okay. Oh, so if I'd used more than 500, and maybe I wouldn't have been able to to advance. Okay, so what's 1-2 uh, one, one here is probably next, right? Our little family had grown. There was a lot more talk now, but we also had another mouth to feed. And the local, local diner wasn't about to open anytime soon. Oh, I've got a base? Okay, this is starting to grow on me a little bit. I was thinking it was just straight-up puzzle, but it looks like I get to upgrade stuff and expand stuff, and you know me in RPGs. How you folks feeling about dinner? I've got All I've got is some sugar and the mold that's growing on it. Maybe we could find something to eat in this warehouse. Not to denigrate your otherwise reasonable suggested course of action, but have you factored in the danger posed by that pack of undead approaching from the loading area? Damn, this place is swarming with walkers. Alright, the, the physical attributes of that cylindrical object in the upper level may be suitable for eradicating the enemy lines. Okay, you want to crush walkers with a cable spool? Crush, eradicate, whatever. Let's get a move on, I'm starving. Use the cable spool from the upper floor to crush the pursuing walkers. I have to use less than 800 of those wooden thingas. 
Double click gets rid of a thing, right? I thought double click got rid of a thing. I can't do that now, though. Oh, because I have a because I have a menu at the bottom, text menu, or text box. For this mission, you need to build a ramp for the giant cable spool to roll down and then crush the pursuing walkers. Okay, so how do I get it? The roadway elements are already there, but not in the correct position. Instead of erasing them, you can simply adjust them to a suitable position. I wonder if drawing the purple somewhere else. I kind of want to like go down and then up and see if that bounces it over. But Move the blue joint. That, that doesn't look blue to me. Moving point. Until moving mode is activated, then drag to hinge. Okay. 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 Had to do that. Okay. As you can see, the ramp can't be supported from below as there are only construction points at the ends of the plank. There's not one down here. In such cases, we need a self-supporting construction with arched scaffolds placed in a triangular formation. This is starting to get complicated. Build such a supporting structure now with struts matching the dashed guidelines. Okay. Oh, no. That needs to be moved to there. And then we'll go here like that. Okay, let's try it. Let's try it, like now. Like, go. Um, Where's start again? Right here. Uh oh, here I run. I'm running. Oh, good. We made it. So we have to get the game. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that was close. I didn't even notice that there was a thing here. I bet if I were to go back. Oh, look. If you can, I guess you can, you can lose them. Now that we're loaded up with all this prepackaged preserved snacky goodness, I gotta say. It's avocados. That was awesome. But it was also really loud. I preferred a physics based solution guaranteed to eliminate our adversaries. I did not promise against any sonic repercussions. Because he says it repercussions, you know how. It's that guy. He's one of those guys. We killed all seven of them. We got used less than the 800 that we were allowed to use. Our supplies were taken care of, but the dead were closing in. We could only hope our new friend could come up with another crafty solution. Could we? Those fellas took look 100% dead and none too friendly. How the heck do we get past them? I propose a scheme that iterates upon proven strategy with superior technology. I would once again draw your attention to the upper levels, where rests a formidable container. So someone needs to run in, release a container, and crush those walkers? I don't ever whoever draws the short straw on that one. Why are you guys looking at me like that? Have no fear, we shall devise a comprehensive plan that guarantees the neutralization of all tangos and a 100% survival rate for all friendlies. You have my word. What are you waiting for, Miles? Look at the face. He gave his word. <laughs> okay, so we gotta get we got to get Miles to A... I have to kill 10 zombies, and we have to use less than 1,200 materials in order to get this gold badge. I guess that's what it is we're doing. This is a tactical level. It contains waypoints where you can give your heroes commands for what to do or where to go next when they get there. Okay. In this case, you want to instruct Miles to go to the control panel and release the suspended container onto the walkers. Afterwards, he needs to go down the ladder and then move to the right towards this area A. These instructions will be, can be given in the command mode. Let's open it now. Miles will encounter two waypoints. The first is selected now. Okay. Note that for each waypoint, you can determine up to five actions that will be executed sequentially when a hero gets there. Okay. The first action slot is already selected. A pallet with all available actions for this slot has opened directly above it. Yes. Oh, I have to click OK again. Darn it. The cog wheel is only available at waypoints that are next to a control panel where he can echo. Okay, good. Select the cog wheel, schedule it as the first action because we want him to do something with the cog wheel. Second action is to go downward, and the third action is to go to the rightward, but I guess not. <laughs> it can be left empty. Next waypoint that Miles can encounter is the bottom ladder. Oh, okay. So we want him to go to the right. That's how we get him to go to the right. I didn't realize that was, that was a waypoint. Each time a hero gets to a waypoint, an instruction must be scheduled. If one is missing, the action will pause and ask you to set an instruction. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. So if you miss one, that's good. I like that. Now switch back into build mode mode and make a bridge for Miles because he's got to go from here to there. And switch between modes at any time. Okay. So I got to go like this. Okay, hold on. I want to make that a little bit more of the same there we go and now I use 200 
We're going to do this. Because I'm a little bit afraid that's too far for him. Okay, let's hope that is a sufficient amount. Oh, I've got to double. I've got to make these into a bridge, a walkway. And I've used less than the 1,200. All right, let's give it a try. I think we've already or, uh, told him what to do. So he can hopefully go here and try this out. Oh, gosh. He made it across. Oh, we got squishies. We squished them, folks. Oh, that was fantastic. We did it. We did it. That looked fun. The kinetic energy was successfully dis deployed. And actually, it was potential energy that was deployed, too. And it became kinetic energy when it squishied. And I might add, quite expediently at that. Mission completed. All right, we got King County Sheriff over here. All right, so that was 1-3. Let's do 1-4. What is underneath here and everything, too? Things were getting hairy, and our death from above plan was hardly risk-free. Miles was not pleased. Whoa, this is a there's a lot of stuff in here. Good things come in threes. What do you say we try this plan again? Maybe give them a little more kick? Miles, steer them over there, and we'll crush them. I've had it with it. Uh, I've had it with this plan. I'm too darn old to keep playing the cheese in your mouse trap. Relax, I'll suck it up and be a bait this time. Get ready for some shock and all, y'all. Shock and all, y'all. Shock and all, y'all. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not in like a uh, a side hustle where I need to speak well. <laughs> Missions where there is more than one hero involved, you can switch between heroes. Each one has their own set of commands for each waypoint. Each hero's waypoint is assigned its own color to keep help you tell them apart. For example, Kyra's color is always yellow. Make sure the correct waypoint, so Miles must be blue. Make sure that the correct waypoint and hero are selected when assigning your commands. For additional guidance to survive the bridge constructor, the Walking Dead universe, check the constructor's guide to the apocalypse in the level menu. Is this the level menu? Instructor's guide. Okay. You can use the start with dialogues button to re-enter a mission showing all of its dialogue. You can save and load up to five of your solutions for a mission. Constructions plus all waypoint decisions via the level menu. Simulate often and early to get acquainted with the game's mechanics. Failures are also a lot of fun. <laughs> well, I play RimWorld. I'm quite familiar, thank you. Okay, so Kyra... They both have to get over to A. I don't know how he's going to do that. Oh, he's got A over here. What does this one do? i got to have the right person selected first. So, what does that do? Oh, does that do this? That probably does this. I don't want him to do that then, right? I, got, I want him to wait. I want to wait. So, how do I... How do I get her across here? How do you simulate it? Uh, okay, so she's got to get to there, probably. We'll have to go across a bridge here in order to do that. I want her to get over here first. What, what can she, she can go up here. Oh, there's a ladder. Okay, and then here she'll go over. Uh, so that solves her problem. I'm wondering why there's a construction point here. Oh, maybe that's to provide a support strut of some type. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that then. This is my building area. This has to make it down and crush these baddies. Okay, so we did that. Uh, that can go only to there. Okay, so this has to move over one. And that can go there. Okay, so if I do that, can I also do... I gotta watch how much I'm using to build here too. I do this. What does that give me? And then making these ones bridges. So I've used half already. If I do this. Oh, that's not tall enough. Are you kidding me? Okay, so what if I do... Oh, oh, I'll bet I have to... I have to do both at the same time. So I have to delay this one's attack for long enough that she has time to run under and this still comes over and kills some stuff. I'll bet that's what I have to do. Okay, well, let's see what happens when when Miles does this and then goes over. All right, let's just see what happens. Hopefully, that's enough time for her to run across. I don't know how fast she runs. That's the problem. I don't know how fast she runs. Oh, here she goes. Oh, no, that one died. Oh, no. Oh, no. She's gone. 
Well, I took out a couple of zombies with me at least. But I didn't I did not <laughs> I did not get the girl to the I did not save the girl. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, look, I can go right back. I didn't have to do anything. Okay, so this has to be supported somehow. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And see if doing that helps any. All right, now let's try it. That should do it, actually. Oh, no, that didn't do it at all. I have to connect that one over one more time. <gasps> but she made it. She made it. Holy shnikes, I think I did it. <laughs> I have to know that I have to support that next time. I'm trying to learn the physics of this, too, right? But, hey, look at that. And I use less than 2,000. So, you got a lot of nerve sending me over that rickety bridge. There's a lot of cursing in this one. I'm going to be skipping. So, if you don't like that, so, so long. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Please stay. We like you. I sincerely, I sincerely beg your pardon, but let me assure you that our, your physical well-being was at no point under any circumstances during this operation in jeopardy except the first time when I killed you. Ig ignore that. <laughs> Even the most pessimistic of projections had your probability of survival in the high 80s. Hear that, Kyra? High 80s. How can you stay mad after he gave us his word? Mm -hmm. Anyway, at least we can move on from this particular death trap now. There must be an exit somewhere around here. Mission completed. All right, so we got it, and we got the, the thing here. That's level 1-4. Okay, I'm actually really enjoying myself on this. We weren't out of the woods yet. This warehouse was a maze, and every step threatened to be our last. All this noise is like a mating call. They're, they're swarming the halls. I told you a hundred times, the warehouse is full of yummy stuff, and not so yummy walkers. Let's move out, smarty pants, back me up here. Considering the increasingly volatile situation, volatile, probably says volatile, volatile situation, I'd propose locating a route to, the sa to a safe exit, post haste. A simple structure should allow me to traverse the gap and reach the lattice. Oh, I want to crush them, though. I shall then utilize a hideously hideous speaking doll to gather the enemy in one spot. This mockery of a human voice, modified by yours truly to be noisy as all get out, should wake the dead. It'll get their attention. The proverbial cherry on top shall be yet another death from above solution, provided by yet another ISO intermodal container. Okay, I gotta hit, get him to A and kill all 13 of the zombos. Uh, another chance to crush some walkers under a giant container. Unfortunately, they're not currently in a good position for crushing. Luckily, some char characters have exclusive additional commands that they can execute at waypoints. Eugene's special command is to throw a speaking doll. It attracts nearby walkers for the duration of the mission. His next was portrait. You'll find the number of dolls available for the, position, for the mission. Uno. So from here, we select doll. Oh, use special command as an icon. Okay, so... He's the only one selected. I uh, gotta just click that first. Okay, so now let's add him. Ooh, ooh, what do we do? We can adjust the doll's throwing trajectory with his handle. Try it now. Oh, it does show you where to land. Uh, I'm kind of wondering. Why is that yellow? Is that like where it wants me to be? Does it always move? Oh, it does always move. All right, I'm not sure if it bounces. I want to do it just to... Uh, I'm going to put it right there and hope that that works. And then he'll go up the ladder from here. He will do the thing and go... Wait, well, can't, he can't go... Oh, he's got to go down. And then down again. And then right. And then right. Okay. That should do that part. Let's go ahead and build. I think we've got his command set. Now we have to build the structure for him. Okay, so we got these trusses going for us, which is nice. Oops. No. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, that's close. Oh, that was close. All right, so let's go ahead and simulate. Is it gonna fall? So far, not falling. Oh gosh. So it did bounce, but only a tiny bit. Oh, and they did all make it. Oh, nice. Hmm. 
Oh, I get it. So you can actually sequentially do them later because this one he would go up. That starts a new route. Um, continue. And then he should go over automatically because we set that one right. Okay. Hey, I think I'm starting to get the hang of this game a little bit, but I'm sure that it's going to throw me a curveball here or there. Apropos of nothing but our escalating situation, why haven't you skipped town already? Miles ain't good with change in general. Took me long enough to get him out of the basement where he was hiding. Nothing good ever came of change. World was A-OK -okay before this. You see the problem. Let's get a move on. Mission complete. Boom shakalaka. Golden sheriff's badge. Just pull those off people, I guess. We kept turning walkers into pig feed. The one good thing since Eugene came along, but there was still no end to this complex, and we were wondering if we'd ever see daylight again. I get it, Eugene. It's a proven plan, but I still don't like the way that container's tipping over. According to elementary physics, your survival is near guaranteed if you maintain a minimum average speed of 5.5 miles per hour. Better make it 6. Safety trumping regret when it comes to preferred outcomes. 6 miles per hour is a 10 minute mile. That's, a, that's like an actual decently run pace. But it's not as fast as an actual all out sprint would be and I'm pretty sure the sprinting would be plenty. See, no problem here. You're a fun guy, Miles. If I don't make it, shove him mullet first in the next gang of or miles comma next gang of walkers okay she gotta get to level a to over here this is a movable container with construction points on it you can build a weighted attachment and set it in motion wooden planks are three times heavier than wooden struts play around with different pieces and find the perfect timing to topple the container okay so i need to build let's actually do this here so that i know that that is sufficient that won't go all the way to it, will it? No. Okay. So here we have that. And then we can set him down. Um, go ahead and build that for you. Hopefully that's sufficiently strengthened. And then these guys. So if I just like if I just do this, it will that be enough weight? Because that's gonna swing down, right? That's gonna swing down and hopefully it'll swing it over. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or should I actually connect it here? I'm going to actually connect it there and see if that... Because that now it won't swing down and hopefully you know it won't cause the container to swing into her as she's running. I want it to fall here-ish. So let's go ahead and try that. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That wasn't it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop. Go back. I want to build something else. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, one more time. Oh, it's not moving. It's not moving at all. Well, she could still get to A. We're not gonna. She's not. She's gonna die though. She's gonna get eaten. No, I can't watch. I gotta stop it and go back. Do it again. Okay, so if we do that, is that gonna be sufficient? Let's try it one more time. Oh, it's still not. It's still not going. So maybe I do have to actually swing it. No, it still wasn't enough. What? Okay. How far away can I make this thing? Just to like that? Oh, if I get a full swing? What if I get a full swing? What if I get a full swing going? See if that works. I might even have to try a second one too. I'm at 1144 though. Boom. Oh, it still didn't do it. How is that possible? How is that possible? There must be... There must be something I'm missing. Because I'm so close to being at the place it's supposed to be at. Like, I, I don't want to go over 1,200. So what if I do this and this? So now I've got two of them that are swinging. But it's not three times as much. So that's not going to do it either. Can this one? No. See, that puts me over. Shoot. So if I do... Okay, I'm going to just try that. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> it's still not enough. Oh, that was close, though. It was close, though. What if I do this too? That puts me over. That puts me over. Uh, oh, over by one. There we go. Let's try that. 
Oh, 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 go! Go! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, there it was! There it was! I beat it by one. <laughs> oh, man. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> A little too close for comfort, Eugene, but I guess I'll, I'll think about letting you live. Enough bickering, children. This way. Great. What have you found now? Another half... A hall full of walkers, complete with containers ready to tip over and pulverize us? Even better, an exit. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, I'm actually legitimately proud of myself for that one. That was great. <laughs> this game is absolutely growing on me. It was good to breathe fresh air again, but that was about the only positive development. Walking was risky and wore us out something fierce, but without a car, it was our only option. Oh, but it's rainy. I see a van down that hill. Reckon it'd make a good ride. What are we gonna do about them walkers, though? Can we please for once come up with a plan that won't mangle us to built bits if we make a tiny mistake? Euripides said, the best and safest thing is to keep balance in your life. We shall construct accordingly. I think that's Eugene for let's get a move on. All right, everybody's got to get to A. I need to build a bridge. Less than 2,200. It's got to go over here. So this is interesting. Oh, cable. I've got a new material. Well, hot dang. It's good for lightweight connections over long distances. Careful, though. It can't support joints from the bottom. So, like, I could put a cable from here to here or something? I don't know. Another thing to note, there's no construction points on the right-hand side of the full of the gap to fully attach your bridge try ending the bridge somewhere near the ledge on the right hand side heroes can climb or hop over little gaps okay so if i do something like this here like that maybe here and then i'm attaching cable to here and cable front to here and cable from here and okay I'm just gonna go ahead and try this the only concern now is is this gonna pull on oh and I gotta make sure that's bridge worthy is this gonna pull over I bet that's why there's construction points on this side so we're gonna make um, yeah we're gonna do that see if that's enough counterweight and see if they can make it Oh, that's close. Well, one of them jumped. None of them made it, though. <laughs> oh, he did make it. He did make it. Sort of. No, he didn't get all the way over. Oh, he, he lived, too. Well, I got two of them. It's like Meatloaf said. Two out of three ain't bad. Okay, so that obviously didn't work. Um, this has to stretch more over. Ah. Okay. Oh, I bet that swung. I'll bet that's why. I'll bet that swung. So I have to try one more thing here. So the other problem is that was not a sufficient amount of counterweight. Can I... Can I do one more? Like this? Let's see if that helps. Oh, go. Go, you're so close. You're so oh, you were so close. Okay. Oh, but we have a couple of zombies. And... <laughs> Oh, they're confused. They confuse each other. They're standing right next to them and they confuse each other. Well, that was closer. Okay. <laughs> I've gone for a completely different design here. I don't know if this is going to work because of the... the. I don't know that these two joints here are going to stay. But I've decided to try and actually brace the container against the other vertice over here. And so now... Now the cable's pulling down on it, but hopefully this structure will support the weight of it and push back. Let's see what happens. Oh, it just falls. Oh, and it kills everybody. That was way worse. That was not better. That was way worse. That was way worse. Let's give it another go. That falls, but it stays. Wow. Oh, the problem is it doesn't fall and destroy the zombies. I've gotten to safety, but I've killed no zombies. Did I have to kill the zombies? Yeah, I needed to kill 10 zombies. So I needed it to wait just a little bit longer. I'm close. And I'm going to go for perfection. So I'm going to adjust this over here and see if I can get it to 
to fall, but at the speed I want it to fall at. It's going, but it's going really slowly. It's going really slowly. Get over there, you old man. Yes, yes, we killed them all. Oh no, there's one left standing. No, there's two left standing. But I swear, that's probably gonna be the best we can do at 2091, we got eight out of 10. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. And we're, we're moving on. Funny how people just leave their keys in the car. Very convenient. Let's talk more ignition, chop, chop. Here goes. Mm. Gas tank must be empty. Of course it is. That's why I left the keys there. Nothing we can do about that here. Maybe we should ask that dude on the motorcycle if he knows where to find some fuel. What dude? What motorcycle? I haven't seen anyone. Yeah, there's a big surprise. Let's get a move on. I'm sure we can find gas somewhere. Mission completed. Level 1-7 in the balance. We didn't get everything. We didn't get all of the enemies killed. We might have to come back to level 1-7 in the future, but... Not too shabby. Not too shabby. How many uh, sub-levels are there, I wonder? The three of us weren't going to last much longer on foot. Miles was grimly determined, pushing us forward. At least he acted like he knew, knew where he was going. I hate to be the voice of reason here, but what, where exactly are we heading? What's the plan? Follow our destiny? Just hit the road and see where the wind takes us? No, there is a plan. Oh, great. Care to share? Anything to shut you up. There's a rest area off the interstate just up this road a ways. Used to service all the buses taking folks up and down the coast. Maybe we can score some gas there. If you say so, keep walking. I would conjecture that this rest area continues to be popular among the bus, bus enthusiast crowd. And in fact, and the fact that they have all expired does not seem to have put a damper on said enthusiasm. If anything, it has intensified. Crap. Oh, I got... One up here. Is that Daryl? It looks like Daryl, doesn't it? On the bright side, probably lots of gas in those abandoned vehicles. There appears to be a man in the balcony of the motel. Common courtesy would dictate we include him in any plans to send these wayward travelers to their final rest. What are we waiting for? It does look like Daryl. Okay, so uh, Eugene and Daryl have to reach the, um, the area A. Heroes can actually kill a few enemies with melee attacks, but this requires stamina. If their stamina fully depletes during a fight, they'll be overwhelmed by the enemy. We got one doll for this one, so that's good to know. Heroes can't fight while they're climbing, stumbling, or lying on the floor. Moreover, heroes will only kill enemies they meet when they meet them head on. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, apply directly to the... Okay, I'm done. They're vulnerable to enemies approaching from behind. The stranger looks tough. He shouldn't have a problem eliminating a few walkers ahead of him. The large group on the floor needs a different approach. I think I have an idea with that, actually. I think I'm going to create a swinging... Something like this. Like that. Let's see if I can't you make that one stronger. So it goes... Skadoosh. I want to skadoosh him. So, there are checkpoints here. This must be for my, my man, Daryl. So, um... Let's see, Daryl, you're gonna, when you get here, you're gonna go across and take those ones out. And then when you get here, you're gonna go down. And then when here, you're gonna go right. And hopefully that'll work. When you're here, I don't know what you're gonna do. Straight, oh, I guess go that way. So that now you're going do 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 across there. So I have a lot more material that I have to use here, and I, I don't have a lot of material left. So this may not be the right solution. We'll see. Right there. I'm already in, Oh, man, I'm already... I'm already hurting here. Oh, wait. I have, uh, I have this material, though, too. Uh-huh. And you know what I'm going to try? I'm going to try something different. I'm going to try something different. I'm gonna bring this over as far as I can, and then down. Oh, you can't attach it to there? Ah, ah. All right, so we're gonna go this way then. And get to there, that should be enough, right? And I'm, so I'm gonna use, oh, that's the wrong material. Every time, right? I could set it to there, but I know I can't set it to there. So it's gonna have to go how exactly how far can he jump? Is that as far over as it goes? 
It doesn't think it's as far over as it goes. Yeah. Okay. So if I... What if I do this? Okay, so I'm going to try this section. I'm going to try something fancy. I'm going to try something fancy here. Oh. Right there. And then we're going to go downward. And go to like there. Okay. So hang on with it. Wait for me here. Watch this. No, we need an actual truss there. Because that's not only going to support this one, this node, but also that node. Unless it both just go crashing down. <laughs> which, is, which is very possible. But I'm going to do this. And this. And this. I'm at 1567, which is just too much. If I what if I do that? Is that going to be sufficient for him? Okay, so I think I think oh no, that's not going to hang itself because this one this node's going to collapse. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and give it a shot. I'm hoping that these things swing over and kill those zombies. Nope, it did not. A command needed. Oh, oh, he's got to go right there. Well, I'm just going to throw the doll. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that guy, he can launch this thing, man. He can legit launch this thing. All right, that's going to be fine. I, I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm just going to go ahead. Nope. Daryl's dead. So if, uh, so is he. Oh, Daryl's still going. That didn't get ready. And the doll is sitting here. No one else. Okay, so I didn't kill anything with that. This thing just swung itself right over. I don't think that was the plan. <laughs> We've got to fix this. <laughs> I just had a breakthrough. I've been sitting here for probably 20 minutes, and I've been trying to figure out how to make this work. This is a work in progress, but I've, I haven't been able to figure out how to kill these zombies until I realized these are connected. So if he throws his doll, if he throws his doll uh, here, that'll pull them this way. And then when Daryl gets over here somewhere, that'll draw their, uh, he'll aggro them as well. And that's going to pull this sign down on top of them. So we're starting here. We get a little bit of a movement. Not too much, though, but at least they're over there. I may end up having to figure out something else to do with them, too. But now he's over here. When he falls, I feel like I think they get close enough that they come after him. Oh, they don't. They didn't this time. They did last time I did this run through. Now that I've tried it, he's going to get nothing done. Okay. So hold on. Let's start that again. Maybe I can get... Oh, jeez. This is this is ridiculous. <laughs> this is hard. This is hard. Oops, that's what I, not what I meant to do. Okay, so if I oh, can I land it like right on top of that? What happens if I get it right on top of the thing? Oh, that could be money right there. Throw it right on top of that. What an arm he's got. Oh, now they're gonna keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. Skadoosh. And now that took long enough for him, them, him to get through that if I built one more thing here. Uh, ho, ho, I think we've got it now by Jove. I've only got 400 planks to play through, though. Let's go right here like this. Oh, I got to I gotta reinforce those. Oh, that's more than I can afford. I don't know what to do. And that's just going to fall unless I maybe can I can connect those with that. Hmm. I don't think this is going to work, but it, can I use cables to connect those? Oops, that's not where that goes. And does that use less? I don't think it used less, but let's see what happens. Is it going to fall? Yeah, it's going to fall right away. Oh, death. Death from above. Death for the zombies. Death for Daryl. Death for everyone. <laughs> but, oh well. Back to the old drawing board. This is absolutely ridiculous. I've spent an additional 15 minutes trying to get under the 1500 and kill as many zombies as possible. I can't. I can't kill them all. The best I can do is 10 out of 14. I've got the right mechanic, but I don't know how to make the zombies push the thing over more. Okay, anyway, so this is what I've got. The most minimalistic bridge design I could make. Supporting this here. He, so this is going to topple, and he's going to jump over here, I hope. And I would love to see, you know, a couple of zombies get squashed. But, like, I'm having trouble 
finding where I should throw this stupid thing. So if, if it lands on top of the dumpster, they keep chasing it and pushing the dumpster. But they don't push it fast enough. Anyway, uh, maybe I'll try one more here. Let's see. What if we go, like, if we do put it... Well, what happens if we put it... No, that's... I can't quite get it there. So we're just going to give this a try. And see what happens. Okay, so now they're pushing it. They're pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. It's toppling the sign. Ah, see, yeah, we've only got... We only got the six of the ten. We didn't get all of them. Well, that's all right. Daryl's going to get to safety. This might be the best we can do. We've come in under the 1500. And, you know, oh, oh, I do have an idea. What if we did use a plank to get as much? Maybe we can swing a little bit of it, kill a couple of them. Or is that not going to be enough to, to cause it to swing over? Oh, that doesn't even kill anybody. Never mind. What's the smallest I can make this? And still have it. Oh, whoa. Way too small to even reach them. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, okay. So we're just going to have to go ahead and do it. Toss that baby. Toss that baby. I feel like I got more of them in a different iteration. What if I put the what if I put the baby? I'm gonna do this. Okay. I feel like in an earlier toss attempt, we had the baby land. Like right right there. Like right on it. Ugh, where was that node? The nodes are so finicky here. Uh see if that does it. Because it landed like right on top of it. Maybe it draws them faster if it's closer. And they push harder. Okay, come on. Get there before Daryl does. Oh, we got a bunch of them that way. Hey, look at that. We got one additional one additional zombie from it. That's the best I can do. Look, that is absolutely the best I've done this whole time. 1,408. Reminds me of a Denzel Washington movie. And we finished. And I'm going to call it a day. I'm calling it a day. I, I was hoping to get through all of Chapter 1. We are not getting through Chapter 1 here. Or Level 1. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's Chapter 1. I'll tell you what, thank you so much for joining us today. Wow, this game got hard fast. Like, when there's no parameters at all, it's 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 hard to try and figure out exactly what is the, the correct strategy for taking out the most zombies and getting your people to safety. And I gotta, I gotta tell you something. I love a puzzle game. I've been playing this, I don't know how long it's gonna edit down to, but I've been playing it, playing it for an hour and a half. And I don't feel like it was an hour. I feel like it was 15 minutes. So that's a good sign for the game. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Do you want me to keep playing this game? Is this something that you enjoy? You want me to try to keep figuring stuff out, being stupid, and, and watching the fun physics of The Walking Dead? Or do you uh, want to move on to something else? Uh, either way, though, uh, check out those videos you see on your screen. There is something there for everybody. I would love to tide you over until next time my pylons. Anyways, last but not least, as always, my pylons. Stay safe and be well.